So from my previous video, um, remember there's two lines, one uh, from the electrical panel. One line is here and the second line is here. And uh, we will be installing the GFCI as well as the light switch to power these lights. So to start off with, you shut off the power to this from the electrical box to this outlet. So this is not a live outlet. Just to make sure, I'm using my, um, just it detects electricity. So it's not beeping on all wires, which means I'm free to touch all the wires. This is a dead circuit, but I do know that as I explained earlier, that this is the line coming in. So this is the power that's coming from the box up into my room and then it comes down here. I want to put a GFCI so that if the power gets cut off, I don't want everything upstairs in my bedroom cut off. It only cuts off from here. So if uh, the light switch happens to a ground fault or the fan, it'll cut off power here and they won't cut off power to uh, my other outlets upstairs. So that's what we're gonna do. So once you open the GFCI, you'll definitely see on the top, it says line. And then at the bottom, it says, do not use unless you're planning on extending the electrical outlet or the circuit from here. So this will be the extended. Uh, if you need to extend electricity to other, um, other uh, sources of electricity. So here it says hot. Here on the right, it says white, which the nut is silver. And then hot, this hot side is copper, okay? So as you can see here, there's black and white uh, for power, black and white uh, for uh, the lighting, and then a black and white which feeds the fan. Okay, so um, before I, I can't connect these wires to this wire because I first have to install the GFI. So black to black, white to white, and then I'm gonna need another two wires here um, from that goes black and white here and it then it feeds into this uh these uh wires here okay okay so i didn't bore you with be screwing in the wires but as i said um there's three wires coming into the box the first wire on the right uh white black and uh copper for ground that goes directly to the that's the power that goes directly to the line and then the power out or which will be the feeder that will feed the rest of these wires okay so i pushed in the button so if i activate it it clicks it that shuts off so i'm showing you the safe way so i know that power is coming out of there i connected to one set of wires the one on the far left we'll see where this um, where this wire goes and black to black, which will give power to this black line. Uh, the only thing is, I have to make sure that it's an open circuit here or else this is gonna short. So I gotta disconnect here, keep these open because this is gonna, what's gonna happen is when I connect, if, if that's the wire that goes here, this is gonna, this all of a sudden is gonna be live, right? So I have to make sure they're not touching or else it'll do a short. Okay, so, I open these up so we'll see what turns on or where there's power. So I'm just resetting it. There's power here, the lights are not on. So obviously this wire here on the far left is power is going somewhere. So I'm assuming it's gonna go to the fan switch so let's test it let's test it out with my tester to see which wire is which okay so pyre is now transferred to this so the question now becomes um, how do I use the power to power uh, the fan which is here that has to go directly here to here to feed another switch here for the fan and also give power to the light switch because this is the line or yeah this is the line for my lights up there 
So how are you gonna do that? How do you do that? Okay, well, I'll show you. It's a little called a little jumper. So what I did is I used a little jumper cable, added a little jumper. So this is gonna provide power to my light switch and the power from the GFI is here and it's also connected to my fans uh, line the line and the electricity that will I need to bring it to this box which is also marked so uh, now they're all together now power is going to the to the fan and it's also now this using this little jumper is going to power the uh, light switch so just be careful when you're uh, putting it in um, the wires and this is a deep box so uh, not, there's nothing at the back that I squished it in. Uh, the power is off. There's no power. I uh, connected because this there's only this opening here is just for a little light switch. This jumper, remember that little jumper? That's the one that gives power. And then and then it goes on one side of the switch. And then the line the for that wire that comes down for the lamp is going to be on the other side of the switch. So when the, it turns on and off. And also the switch requires a ground, so I cut the second one off and I kept this one here. So I'm going to loop this onto a regular switch. So let's do that. So I put on the power. Electricians, if you watch all the YouTube videos, the electricians say that you shouldn't have this exposed. And, you know, the best connection would be a loop around the outside steel. So I just want to show you. The copper is making connection with the copper ground mount. There's no exposed copper, okay, which is a good connection. So I pushed it in, so the moment of truth, I'm gonna um, put power back on. Um, you know, the proper way is to go to the circuit, uh, the electrical panel, shut the whole circuit down, but uh, I'm pretty confident that Electricity is not on anywhere here, but it is coming down. So I'm going to reset it now. Hold on. So there's power on. And if I press the circuit, boom. Turned on the lights. So, so the power is on. So we've got lights working you know, on and off. Shuts off, turns on, shuts off, turns on, 